Right, we're live. Hello, everybody. Hello, I'm blocked in here. Oh, I'm going to move this a bit further back. No, it's, she needs to come along a little. Right, let's hold on. What? Oh, I didn't mean to jump on. <laughs> Blimey, Riley. Hello, everybody. Right, let's put you in a second. Locked in the way, right out the way, doll. Okay. All right, chaos in the kitchen. Chaos on the grips. Right. Oh, the spices are you going to show them what you're doing? What are we doing? We're going to use the biggest First of all, good evening. We are making mould wine tonight. We are. I haven't got a Hi, head. Hi, Natalie. How are you doing? Duncan doesn't have a head, but you, I'm going to move out of the way a minute because I think it just takes two. Just takes two. Bend down. Yes. Just bend down. So we are going to be making mould wine. Now, what have you got here right, to make so it with? We aren't making mould wine. We're making syrup. Oh, yeah, mould wine syrup. So it's to, you make the syrup first, and then you simply put that syrup into warmed wine, and no one can see my head. I have to shrink. It makes yes, hello. And you put that syrup in the mold into warm wine or cider or apple juice. That's one of the ingredients. Do you know what that's called, Zanthi? It's called cinnamon. That's a cinnamon stick. Now don't try and lift those up. Daddy will bring them to camera. And I point shall out bring them to camera them now. We have, oh, if you can see, it's quite bright actually. There we are, look. These are cloves. There's probably about half a dozen cloves. That is ground nutmeg, ground cinnamon, and ground allspice. There's about half a teaspoon full of each. And it's all in your recipe book. You can play around with the spices, do more or less, do different flavors. It's really up to you, be experimental. We love experimenting in this kitchen, and I hope you do too. We all the other in, and the other ingredients are water. This has got water in it, a Father Christmas jug. It doesn't have to be a Father Christmas jug, but it does help. And sugar. Sugar, sugar. Now we're going to be making two syrups. We're going to be making a clementine syrup Ooh. and this mould wine syrup. Amazing. Um, we're also, for both of those we're going to be using our dried clementines. Mine are kind of semi-dried because for whatever reason. Um, but it's fine. As we said earlier you could use fresh ones if you haven't got around to drying them yet but drying them is great. It enhances the flavour and also you can use them as decorations too. This kitchen is going to smell oh, amazing. Yeah. I'm going to go and watch you from upstairs. Brilliant, <laughs> fantastic. Now we've got some and space. And I need you to answer a question for What's me. the question? The question is, how many cranberries do you need for the cranberries? How many cranberries do you need for the cranberries? Yeah. Are we doing this cranberry? Cranberry and juniper jerry. Um, I think a kilo. Well, uh, 500 grams? I don't know. I've got, yeah, I've got some, I don't know. I'll have to think about it and come back to you. Um, sorry about that. Oh, what a strange question. Right, okay, so here I am. I'm going to try and position this so you can see me better. You don't want to see my sink though. And I'll be right a bit. Oh, my thing is a bit broken. Right, okay. How's that? Can you see me? You can see some of most of my head. Right, so on a very low heat, we've got two pans. And each of these pans, we're going to use our very special measuring device. Daddy, can we do it? We can put this in our mind, right? Yeah, we're going to use one cup of sugar in each of these things. So, can you fill this cup up? Okay, but we can pull this one up too. Why? Uh, you can if you want. That's a quarter of a cup. You'd need four of those. This is probably the slowest way ever, so I'm going to help speed things up. In fact, what I might do, speed things up even further by using the actual sugar. When, um, syrups, we make lots of syrup in the kitchen table revolution. Okay, which is okay. our group. Where of, did it go? Which one? Either one. Okay. And you want to put three more of those in, Xanthi. Okay. So we make syrups quite a lot. We make syrups and cordial, and we do that to preserve flavour throughout the season. So you can um, infuse flavour into syrups quite easily, and 
um, that then you can use that, that flavour after that thing has gone out of season. And it's a really good way of doing these. And yeah, so versatile, you can use them in sweet and savoury food cooking, uh, generally. This is your only, only going to really make drinks out of. And then you want the same amount of water. Okay, can I put the water in? Yes, you can put the water in your one. How many of those have you put in? Um, we just put two in. You've just put two in. So you're going to put two more of those in. That's two and you put four in. That's one, right. One, two, three, four. That's good, isn't it? Right, so. You're going to then, you can have this one. So that's number three, is it? Yeah. You've got one more. And you're going to, once you've done that, you're going to put in either four of those or one of those, and you're going to water. And then you're going to stir it. What was I saying? So, oh yeah, so, so um, the ratio is always the same. Always one part water, one part sugar, and then you get a nice thick syrup. And if you do it one part sugar, two parts water, you get a cordial. Can I do four water things? Yes, you can put four water things in there. Okay, but first, I don't need to get Oh, put that sugar into the pan, yeah. Do my pen? Yeah. Good girl, well done. You're just a Now, you want to put the uh, four... Don't get a bit too heavy. No, a bit too heavy, is it? One, pour that in. That's filling any. It's got a drop. <gasps> it's got a drop. One. Should we do it over the pan? No, it doesn't matter if it's got a drop then, does it? Two. Three. Four. So it's just important that you have the same amount. And what this does is it's a preserving technique because the sugar is taking up all of the water. So that means all that water is busy partying with the sugar and it's not able to party with any germs. So the germs aren't invited to this party, are they? Uh -uh. No, we don't like germs, do we? Now you're... Yeah, are you gonna make the plain orange flavored one or are you gonna make the spiced orange flavored one? Um, not, not the spicy one. You're gonna make the non-spicy one. When I say spicy though, Dante, I don't mean like it's too hot and like you go ho, 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 like a chimpanzee. What I mean is it's nice and there's lots of different exotic flavours like floating around and getting up to no good and causing trouble. No, they're getting up to loads of good. You can put that in. Why don't you put all of those in? These are all spices. Oh. Yeah, they're exotic and they come from far flung countries and they make food tastes delicious and like all varied and really. This might be grown-ups will love it. Grown-ups will love it, I think children will love it too. You like cinnamon, don't you? Yeah, we like cinnamon. And cinnamon spice, that's cinnamon, yeah. Well done. We, are, we can put it in the pan and the whole thing in. Yeah, put the whole thing in. In fact, you can just put all of that dust in. Ooh. All of that just goes in, yeah. Just chuck it all in, yeah. That's it. Now you can of course use whole spices. The whole spices have the advantage of um, being able to be fished out. Look, Daddy, spicy oranges. But uh, we're going to put some oranges. But the ground spices have the advantage of instantly flavouring it, so it's can much we put quicker. In too? Yeah, you can put. How many do you want to put in? Um, lots, lots. Put six in. But why? Do you know? It sounds like a nice number. The more you put in, the more orange you put Okay. And I'm going, to put the, I'm going to put loads in mine, because mine's only going to be flavoured with oranges. Oh, why? There's actually canned time for it, you know. Can I put flavoured spicy and flavoured? Yeah, you're making the spiced one, and I'm making the non-spiced one. Daddy, can I put the more in than me? You can put that one in. A tiny one, too tiny. <laughs> Put that one in. Yeah. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. So what we're going to do is with these two um, things, we're going to allow the oranges to sit time. Can you just go put one more bubble in? 
Are you really? Is that what you're going to do? We're going to allow those flavours to permeate, to mingle, to marry, to um, infuse. Are you going to go down mine? Yes. Can we go down? Actually, lots of spices in mine. You've got lots of spices. Can you remember what the spices were, Xanthi? Uh -uh. Are you putting more sugar in? I don't think you need more sugar. A bit more. A bit more, alright, hang on. What's the worst that can happen? Well, it's the worst that can happen. You had cloves, you had cinnamon, you had uh, ground ginger, ground nutmeg, and ground allspice. You could put star anise in if you had it. We just didn't happen to have any. I thought I did. Um, you could go off piece and you could put things like caraway seeds in or cardamom pods. You could really go to town and do your own flavours. And I would love to see your own creations as well. Um, do put them in the um, comments below or post your own thing with them if you can. Um, what you're going to do is once you've dissolved sugar into water, one part sugar to one part water, and you've added your spices and some of your dried oranges, or fresh if you don't have them dried, um, and you can play around with your citrus fruits. Try yeah, also, oh, make a tower dog. Why did you not this guy just didn't go to the pool? So I got no one to go with. Why did the skeleton not go to the ball? Yeah, because he's got nobody to go with. Because he's got nobody to go with. <laughs> That's hilarious. Have anyone else got any jokes? Post Christmas cracker style jokes, post them too, because we'd love to see them. And you will get glitter points. Do you know what the glitter points mean, Xanthi? Prizes. Yes. So, um, so sugar dissolved in water. Then, spices. If you don't want spices, don't worry about it. Citrus fruit, we're using clementines, you can use whatever you like, grapefruits would be great. And then add more sugar until your teeth fall out. No, don't keep adding sugar, don't you? And once that's done, um, you're simply going to sieve it out. So you're going to leave that to um, infuse for on a very low heat for a minimum of 20 minutes to half an hour. Um, that could be a maximum of a few hours until the, uh, you don't want to try and cook it, so you just want to leave it. Um, but you know, half an hour's probably fine. And then you want to sieve it out. In fact, if you're using ground spices, you might want to use a muslin to, to get rid of those, or a very fine sieve. If you don't have one, don't worry, no one's going Pick to. Pick a ball! Ah! No one's going to arrest you or anything Pick like that. Um, and then you simply put it in a bottle or put it in a jam jar. We have uh, these lovely little bottles that we're going to be putting them in. And then, depending on how much you make, you can give it a, give them away. What you can do is put a little bit of string around the top of the bottle with one of your bits of oranges attached. I happen to have something similar over here. Well, I did. Oh, I did. Like this. Um, can we jump in our pans? Yeah, we can. Both of them. Yeah, that's a great idea, Duncan. That. That's what our pans look like. Yeah, oh, my pans. There's some love on the screen. That's good to see. That's the one with the spices in, and that's the one without. Yeah, there you go. And then you're just going to allow them to infuse, as I say, for a minimum of 20 minutes. In fact, I'm going to allow the orangey one without any spices. I'm going to leave that for longer than the spicy one. Because the spices, as I've used, in, I've used ground spice, that's kind of instant flavour. So I'm actually only really waiting for the cinnamon, the cloves and the oranges to infuse. Uh, whereas this one, I'm waiting for oranges. And the longer I leave that, the better. So I might leave that for a good few hours. That one, I'm pretty much going to sieve it out soon. And I'm going to put that in bottles. So then, once you've got that in a bottle, you can um, warm up some uh, red wine. You could also use cider, or you could use apple juice, or um, just whatever. Uh, Daddy, it worked really well in hot water? chocolate as well, actually. Daddy, can we play with some water? I thought, oh, we didn't sit watching upstairs. I thought you were going to say instant spices. Ha-ha. Well, I probably Daddy, am. Daddy. Not yet, not right now. You can play with water after the video, which is almost finished, so don't worry. You've got about 20 seconds left. So, uh, uh, you would put, um, what, what that bottle thing that I showed, that. Uh, that, that, that kind of size bottle thing, that's going to go uh, to about a litre of uh, drink, that wine or 
whatever you're making. Um, and so you can just add that to it, put in a few of your dried oranges on the top, just for fancy showness, and maybe a bit of, you know, whatever you've got, chuck in there. And then there you've got instant mulled wine, you don't have to um, faff about with anything, and it's absolutely delicious. Um, there you go, I'm going to say goodbye now, and I'm going to leave you to it. Um, we will see you tomorrow morning um, with uh, news of what's coming up in, over the next day or so. And I look forward to that. Say goodbye. I did say to wait until after. Bye bye. 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 Have a lovely time. Oh, it's great with sparkling wine too. You're right. Right, bye.